Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today's video we're going to be doing an oil change and oil filter change on an Audi A4 2014 2 litre TFSI. So what we're going to be swapping out is the oil, 5 litres, 1 4 litre and 1 one liter and also we're going to be swapping out the filter so it comes with a oil sump plug the new ones that go on the plastic plastic under tree i'll show you guys the best way to put this on and remove it and this also comes with the oil filter and it's also got a seal a seal as well the seal ring so when you buying your oil filter if you've gone to tps or you've gone to audi or wherever you find the best deal you've got to know what your vehicle takes so my audi takes 5w30 titanium so there's different 5w30 oils so you've got to be careful with audi and vw at the back of it it tells you vw audi and we're looking for that code 504 507 so that's approved with my vehicle it's got 80,000 on the clock so it's a bit higher so <coughs> you could use professional you could use Castrol professional but I've gone for the titanium so it's got stronger under pressure so it just keeps things a bit more steadier inside inside for all the vibrations if you got a bit the engines become a bit tappity over time so this one's good for that it tells you with painted fluid titanium technology transforms transforms its structure to be stronger under pressure to keep metal apart and reduce friction so i'm after a bit of that so it reduces friction so makes the engine last a bit longer you, it doesn't need to be Castrol Edge. You could go for Quantum. Obviously, the engine wants to see it's 5W30. You doesn't know it's you. It can't read the label. So you could put in 5W30 as long as it's got this approval. 504-507. So that's what you're after. But as it's my car, Castrol Edge, why not? With the new the Audi A3s, 4s, 5s, VW Mark 7s, um, they come with a uh, plastic, plastic uh, sump, and on the sump, the the plugs are like these plastic ones here, and so the seals on there. So it's a bit tricky to uh, to see which one goes in. So the best method I found was to swap this out is a 2P coin or a FD7. FD7, if you see inside there, it's got a straight screwdriver, or you could even put in a 2P coin. You get a 2P, a UK 2P, and it goes in, fits in, and you can spin it. Or you need an FD7, which is a straight screw, and it goes in. It fits in, but you could also like shear it off as well. So I find the 2P to be more useful, but the FD7 does work because you give it one spin and it comes straight off. So that's that. So guys, to do this oil change, what we need, um, we're not going to do it on a ramp. So all we need is a trolley jack to you jack it up. Then we need two trolley jacks axle stands to put on each side of the vehicle to hold the car up obviously we need the oil and the filters and all you need is basic tools <coughs> you just need a t20 or t25 to take off the under tray you need an oil tray to catch all the old oil and you just need um, a 27 mil for the oil filter housing so to take off this cover, what I do, I pull it from the back first, release it, do it slowly, so you don't break nothing, and then 
each corner and then it comes straight off put that down and just lift up the oil there's a marking on these oil trays that are put so basically these oil filter housings they crack if you over tighten them so just be wary of that just leave a mark where you spun it off from you need to um, put it back into that mark if you over tighten it you will crack the oil filter housing so we need the 27 mil or the 32 rather just to spin that off and then we can put the oil filter housing in and we're going to jack it up on the jacking points for these Audi A4s this is underneath here you'll see there's a little marking where you can see just there underneath so guys underneath here I've only needed to jack it up on one stand so <coughs> we just need to take off this under tree so got one screw down there one there one there three on this corner here three on this corner here and then you just push this slide it backwards and it pop right off and you have access to the oil oil something to release the oil let's go ahead and take off this cover to remove these screws you just go in put it in and you just give it one spin and it'll come out like that Going for that one. Let's get it in there. One spin, and then you'll see it just pop out. Screw like that with a funny little end like that. So once you've removed that under tray, guys, you come. You will see this plastic sump. This is how the Audis are building them from 2012, 13 onwards on a lot of vehicles and basically <coughs> if you're watching my video earlier there's the sump plug so if you were watching you'll know that as we're saying you can put a 2p in there and you just spin it and i find that easier if not with my left hand you get the fd7 and you can also squeeze it straight in there and make sure your oil pan is in place and you just give that a spin and it'll come straight all the oil make sure you get it in place and you see the oil will come straight out And you just let that all flow out all the way to the bottom and then you put your new one your new sump plug back in while the oil comes out you could go prepare to take off the oil filter and let it just come out but it's not much to come out there should be like five liters to come out of this and you just try to monitor the oil and see if there's anything going on, anything comes out that shouldn't. But that's how you can take off the oil oil plug for these 2013 Audis onwards with the plastic tray. They swap this from metal to plastic. I don't support this sort of action, but which is what it is. Once all the oil's dripped out, you just wipe this down, wipe everything down, and then you get your sump plug and put it in the put it in there, and then with the FD tool. That I was talking about you just spin it in there guys till you feel it's tight and it's done that's all and when you can't spin anymore it means it can't go anymore and that's 
tightened it up. Like I say, if you can't find your FD7, you could also put a two-peak coin in there. So what we could do is go to the top now, put this cover back on and start doing the oil filter and putting in the oil. Yeah, so once you've put the cover back on, you could either put the cover on after the oil change or you could do it before just to monitor it. Well, I've done it a dozen times, so I know once that plugs in, it doesn't come through if you put it on correctly. So now with this oil housing filter, with these generation threes, they come at the top. So you need a 32 mil and you put it on there. They're the marking, so you don't want to over tighten this. If you over tighten this, this will crack. So you get your ratchet, have a rag there, put it on open, give it a spin, it's not very tight. And you just unloose it like that. Once you can feel it with your hand, you can just spin it, spin it and then just pull it up. But you see where the oil is, you want to maybe just take this away, grab a rug. There will be a little bit of spillage down there. So once you've got your oil filter on, you just wiggle this and it will just slide straight off. And that's where your oil seal sits on the last, last compartment. So... You just take that off and put your new one on, your new oil filter, and put it back in. So once you've got the seal off from that last one there, where the groove is for it, it won't go nowhere else but that last place there. So you get your new seal, just dip your finger into a little bit of oil, and just rub it around. Rub it on there so it just goes on seats on there nicely till it goes on seats into the last slot. And then you can put a bit more oil around it and then put your oil filter housing on. To get your oil housing filter filter. Just put it in through there. Put it there and then push it down and once you hear it click it's all in so you just put a bit of oil there and it goes straight back in there and you screw it on and remember the marking we made we just make it to there so put it in there start spinning it by hand And when it starts getting tighter, and now you get your ratchet. Now you get your ratchet and spin it to the point where the yellow is. You get your 32 mil tool and just tighten it till it gets back to there. And that's up. Next. We go and put in the oil. So this takes around four and a half liters. So have this up and you go ahead and put in the oil. After you've swapped your filter out, you go and put your oil in there. So what I usually do, I put four liters in and then I keep putting in the um then I put another 300 in and just to check it but with Audi obviously not everybody's got the dipstick but I have so I just kept checking it like old old fashioned and just checking the marking and I can see I got plenty of oil in there and the way to do, Audi says to do it is just you put in four and a half litres and check it on the system once it decides it comes up but you could do it that way or you could just do it buy one of these dipsticks and just go from there you put your engine cover back on take it for a drive wait till your oil 
signals on there to show you how much oil it's got and just monitor it and you've done your oil chain for oil and oil filter so thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe so i can bring you more tips on audi thank you very much for watching